tell me, like, what, is, what does it have to feel like to have this movie finally out on DVD after all these years? Well, it's like a resurrection. Um, same thing happened with uh, another film I did, The Monster Squad. Yeah. These movies did not do well when they opened. Um, and they sort of developed gradually this following because of uh, cable and t TV and VHS. And um, it's like a new life. It's really great. So, like, what, like, uh, what kind of things do you think that the say uh, these movies say about like just the horror genre and like where do you think it's kind of going? Well, I haven't really followed the horror genre in the last few years. I mean, I'm, uh, I'm familiar with a lot of the, the you know the Japanese pictures and the the kind of the, the slasher and the torture porn and all that stuff. I feel like you know horror needs to be reinvented. The same way that uh, my analogy is the way John Woo reinvented action movies in the '80s. So I've kind of I'm, I've kind of lost interest in horror films. Would you be willing to reinvent that yourself then, or? Boy, I think it's a real tough it's a real tough job. Um, but all of my favorite horror films are the ones that s sort of broke new ground: Psycho, uh, Night of the Living Dead, The Texas Chainsaw Massacre, Exorcist. They were movies that sort of surprised you and shocked you, and you said, "Oh my God, you can't really do that, can you?" And the problem is now everything's been done. So how do you do something that's going to shake things up? I don't know that you can anymore. Just uh, what would you like to say for all the fans that have been following this film and what to expect on this new DVD release? Um, it's chock-a-block. It's got um, several documentaries. It's got two commentaries. It's got deleted scenes. And um, it looks and sounds the best it ever has. So uh, I like to say if you like the movie, uh, you're going to love the DVD. And if you don't like the movie, it's the, it, the movie's better than it used to be. So.